Hi guys, Sneaker is here, and as you can see, now I am a fucking cheater. There is a circle indicating spread of bullets on my screen. And here is another case of cheating, now in the rust. And here I can see how the arrow will fall. And keep in mind that both bow and op doesn't have crosshair themselves. This idea of placing a crosshair over the monitor was given to me by Asus company, that also makes gaming devices. In this case it's called Game Plus, which allows you to draw a crosshair over your monitor. So I sat and thought for a bit to make out something similar to this. Maybe my followers will be interested in this, since basically everybody can draw a dot on the screen and this method won't fix accuracy. So to enter the wonderful world of cheating we will need two programs. I use one of them most of the time. It's called Borderless Gaming. You can buy it on Steam or download for free. And as you can see I will demonstrate it with the game Rust. I set it to full screen launch and this is basically all we have to do with this application. We can launch the game and as soon as we do this it will be launched exclusively in full screen borderless mode. Even though the settings are a bit different from what you'd expect. And this is the moment when borderless gaming starts working. If you made everything correctly then Rust will be switched to full screen borderless mode, which is nice. The next thing we do is launching custom desktop logo. This is the application that allows you to draw a watermark over your screen. The image that is shown by this application won't interact with mouse cursor, which means that you can use it while you're gaming if the game is launched in full screen borderless mode. And that's what borderless gaming allows you to do with almost every game. And custom desktop logo allows you to draw a crosshair of your choice. By the way, speaking of crosshairs, if you pop up this application from Tray, you can select which crosshair to use and with which parameters. I spent about an hour to design some crosshairs that might be useful for you. They are located in the crosshairs directory. And there are some Asus crosshairs and the crosshairs I drew myself. I tried to make sure that every crosshair will be visible on every background and now you're watching a huge universal crosshair. I drew it a long time ago to demonstrate a silo jump and the nuke in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The video itself is outdated, but the crosshair is surprisingly safe. After that there are basically two useless crosshairs, diagonal purple, which you can see at the screen right now and which is not the best. And there's diagonal purple without line, there is better visible on almost every background. While you're looking at this stupid crosshair, I want to say to everybody who is going to develop their own crosshairs to use not even amount of pixels on width and height. There is also a minimalistic crosshair that I designed after being asked where is your crosshair in Counter-Strike many many times, when the crosshair itself had a low alpha value. This crosshair allows you to fast shoot and also shows exactly where the center of the screen is. There are also two crosshairs with physics compensation. First of them will be useful for those who shoot rocket launchers or grenade launchers of some sort. And there is also a really small crosshair that allows you to shoot a bow or some pistol gun or whatever. After that there is an infamous red dot, basically a laser sight. Just because there's almost certainly will be someone who would like to have it. And of course there are two crosshairs for showing bullet spreads for OP. The one you saw in the very beginning of the video and the crosshair with less opacity for those who are willing not to customize it themselves. Hm. Well, anyways, there are also two crosshairs from Asus that are used in their monitors. There are white and red crosses. I personally don't like it. It looks like a hello from 90s or something, I don't really know. And there is another crosshair which is a circle type and uh, in my opinion it looks idiotic as well. But just for those who want to experiment, they are here. And now I'd like to show you how to customize those crosshairs in more details. In the second tab you can set up where this crosshair will be placed. By default I set it over all windows and only on the middle monitor. And as you can see in the bottom part of this window you can set up the offset of this crosshair. In the third tab you can set up its size, increasing it to a very big uh, size, as you can see it's really huge right now. I don't know who will use sizes like that, but still. And you also can make this crosshair really small and sexy, just like that. And there is also a last one a thing I want to show you today. It is opacity that is placed on the fourth tab at the bottom of the window. You can make the crosshair less visible by moving this slider. I want to repeat myself that I know that technically using things like that is wrong. 
The game developers themselves didn't think about those opportunities you are going to use. But if bullets fly directly to the middle of the screen, well I guess that's the dev's fault. And there'll always be someone who is going to use this to their advantage. Using this crosshair will allow you to fast shoot, aim and shoot faster with AWP. And the main idea of my method is that you don't violate something, you don't affect the game itself. And no anti-cheat will ban you for this, because uh, if the game can launch in full screen windowed mode, you are just placing something above it, not inside it. That's all I wanted to tell you today. My name is Nicky Joe. Have a nice day.